from social distancing, working from home, empty supermarket, becoming the new normal because of this COVID-19. It made the data more valuable than ever. We see all sort of chart everyday news, all sort of statistics. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna look at how we can make your own uh, COVID-19 tracker. I'm gonna put together a simple a dashboard using the Tableau uh, so you can track how COVID-19 affecting worldwide. So for this video, I'm gonna use this COVID-19 dataset that available in the GitHub. Uh, this dataset put together by the amazing team in the John Hopkins University. So you can check the details database there. Uh, so I'm going to go to the data and I'm going to download the time series 19 CSV file. Uh, let's download it. So after that, just open the Tableau and connect to data and choose the file uh, that you have downloaded. Now this data comes with the uh, date, country, uh, state, and latitude language, all sort of information. Now go to the worksheet, select the confirm from the measure and drag it to the canvas. It's going to show you a uh, total sum of all the confirmed cases, uh, which we don't want. So we want to see only the number of confirmed cases on that particular day. Let's add the date into the filters and choose range of dates. Now on the date, we want to choose apply to worksheet all using this data set. Now let's show the filter. Now we have this date range. Now if I drag the date all the way to the single date, then I can see the number make more sense. Now to do that, let's create a new calculated field. I'm going to call it latest. So, uh, so whatever the date range user choose, we will only want to take the last date from that filter range. Hope that makes sense. Now it's going to return a boolean and let's drag that to the filters and select true. Now it's it going to give us a new problem. Whenever we drag the date filter, the number disappears because uh, uh, because it's checking uh, the latest date uh, from the whole database, not checking within the filter range. So to fix it, we can go to the date and choose add to context. Cool. Now let's arrange the layout for a bit. Uh, let's choose it. I'm going to change the background color and the text. Now let's rename the sheet to confirmed and I'm going to duplicate it for the recover for the date. Now just drag the recover into the measure and death into the measure. Now let's create a new worksheet. Uh, so let's drag the date, then drag the confirm. I'm going to change the date to day. Let's swap it. So this one will give us an idea how number of cases increasing over the time period. Now we want to see both uh, confirm date and recover. So instead of adding one by one, we can drag uh, uh, the major values into the row. Uh, and let's remove the confirm from the row. Remove the item that we don't need, for example, the latitude, longitude, and the number of record. So it's going to give a very messy line uh, because it's trying to show all three major values in one line. So to fix it, we can just drag the major name into the color. So it will separate each line into individual color. Let's change the color. Now back to the confirm sheet. I want to make the date appear in all the worksheet. Right click and apply to worksheet all using this data source. Now, in this line chart, it's very hard to see each individual point, and so I'm gonna duplicate the major value by pressing the command on the keyboard. Now, for the second chart, let's change the mark type to shape, adjust the size, make it a dual axis and synchronous access. Let's call it cumulative cases. Let's create another worksheet. Let's call it uh, daily new cases. So this one we're going to show the new cases. Let's drag the date and the confirm. 
uh, change the date to day, make a departure, go to the quick table calculation and choose the difference. Now it's showing the daily new cases. Press command and drag the confirm to the level. Let's change the access title. I'm gonna call it number of new cases. Cool. Let's do the same for the column. Let's just remove the title because I think we don't need a title here. And last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change the color. Great. Now let's create one more one. And this one I'm gonna make a table. So let's drag the country. Let's open up the state. Uh, so now you can see that some country doesn't have the state information. And now to get rid of the null, I'm gonna create a new uh, calculated field. Let's call it uh, province or state. So check if province or state is null, then we're gonna show nothing. Otherwise, province or state. Now change the data type to state or province. I'm gonna drag it to the country or region hierarchy. Just remove the old province or state out of the hierarchy. And that should uh, solve our problem. Now I'm gonna drag the major value into the text and let's drag the major name into the column uh, and let's remove the one that we don't need cool now we have a table view now i'm going to call it a country table view now i'm going to duplicate this one and let's call this a daily country table view now this one we will show you the daily new cases so let's drag the latest date that we did before and let's add it into the filter and let's select true so now it will show you the daily new cases new death and new recover now one last thing we're gonna do let's create a new worksheet and let's call it map let's drag the country or region and just drop it to your canvas cool now tableau is showing us the country by the dot but we don't need, we want to show the confirm cases. So just drag the confirm into the label. Now let's drag the latest date into the filter and select true. Cool. Now drag the confirm into the color. So it shows the color distribution all over the map. So we can have some good idea like where is the highest number of cases is coming from. By default, the color is showing very high in the US area, but it's not clearly showing the difference because it's uh, because I think there's a huge gap uh, between the highest number and the lowest number. In China, it's uh, almost 100k, and in US, it's uh, 1 million. Uh, but if I see in in the rest of the world, it's almost like 1,000, or some countries like three or four digits. So in this case, we, what we can do, we can uh, change the color distribution. So I'm going to change the color. I'm going to choose some yellowish color and, and I'm going to choose a stepped color and put six step. The, the, the one I'm going to, uh, I want to focus on is uh, go to the advanced. You can put a different style than N number and you can also put a center number. Our maximum number is more than 1 million and the lowest number is 6. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the start number is 6 and I'm going to choose the end number to something like 35,000 and in the middle I'm going to choose something like 10,000 uh, because I think the majority of the country will cover in 35,000 and the rest which is very high, more than 35,000 I think there will be like only four or five countries that lies in in that band but you can always go back and you can edit based on your requirement now it's time to put every all the worksheet together into a dashboard so let's create a dashboard now go to the size and i like to use uh, automatic now i'm going to quickly and drag and drop all the worksheets that i have and put some title and adjust the setting on it And so I need to make one more worksheet, uh, which is mortality. Uh, so this one, I'm going to show how what's the mortality rate. And it's going to be a calculated field. And the formula would be the number of death 
divide by the number of confirmed cases. And let's change the number format to percentage. And then let's drag it to the, our dashboard. Now our dashboard is missing all the interaction. Let's add the date filter and let's adjust the position. And also add the country. Now I can click the any points uh, in the cumulative cases. It will show me the breakdown of the confirmed numbers and it will highlight in the yellow. I can also do the same for the recover. Uh, then it will highlight the recover one. We also have a date slider. We can move the slider left and right to see that particular date uh, confirm recover and date numbers. Cool. Make sure your filter option is activated. Now tilt the countries. Uh, choose all using this data set. So now if I want to see somewhere in Australia and then it will give me the Australia curve the Australia region and I can see what is happening in Australia over time and what is the cumulative cases so now if I click uh, for example 28th of March so it will highlight uh, the cumulative confirmed number and then it will also highlight that particular day the number of new cases and you can also slide the date range to a different date so it's updating Let's choose another country, for example, New Zealand. And we can see the New Zealand has very few number of new cases. And the daily new cases has fallen. But when you click, uh, for example, the 64 on 14th April, uh, everything goes away. And this one is showing all the cases. So I'm going to duplicate the daily country table view. And I'm going to rename it to uh, daily country new cases. Now just leave the confirm and re remove the date and the recover. Drag the date on the column and change it to day. Remove the latest date filter. Right click on the sum confirm and choose a quick table calculation difference. Change the market type to text. Change the day column to discrete. Now right click again and choose the format. I'm going to change the date format. Now let's get back to the dashboard. Let's add the worksheet here. When we click the bar chart in the daily new cases, we want to highlight the corresponding column of daily continue cases. So we can see the distribution of new cases in the state level. To do that, we need to create a new dashboard action. So let's go to the dashboard and click action. Click add action and choose the highlight. So for source, choose daily new cases. Run action on is select. And for target, let's choose daily country new cases. And press OK. And voila. Now if you click the number of cases uh, for any date, Daily country new cases worksheet will highlight the distribution of all those cases in the state level. Awesome. Now we can take this dashboard a little further by adding some prediction or forecast based on the data we have. Unfortunately, the forecast is not going to work on the daily new cases because we're using the table calculation. Um, but I found an alternative way to do that, which is taking the data to Excel. So let's right click on the daily new cases and press duplicate as cross tab. It will give us a table view of the data we have. Now go to the worksheet and click export, then choose cross tab Excel and save the file. Now I opened the file in the Google spreadsheet and I made a bar chart using the date and the number of cases. So from this chart, you click on the right corner and choose edit chart and click customize, go to the series and then at the bottom you'll see there is a trend line, click the trend line and there is a type option, choose the type, I'm going to choose the polynomial and let's choose fourth degree 
polynomial line is trying to fit the data we have so from based on this data we can see uh, so here I mean I exported the Singapore uh, number of cases you can play around with different types of uh, algorithm and they have moving average uh, linear and also uh, calculation there so that's all for this tutorial I hope you all guys stay safe please subscribe to my channel if you liked it and I will see you in the next one